Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olean's.com, Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 35, Removing Overlaps, Holes, and Merging Designs. Under the Edit tab, you have the option to remove overlaps, merge, or set hole sewing in your designs. I'm going to demonstrate this by doing a simple silhouette project. Under the Image tab, I'm going to pull open a image from a file. You can also put your photograph on your scanner or Twain device, but this one is a file, and it's a silhouette of a little boy named Ian. That's going to be our template. He is too large to fit in my 4x4 or 100 millimeter uh, hoop, so let's zoom out so we can grab hold of the handles and make him fit inside that hoop. When I click outside now the image is set so I want to zoom up close to him once again so I can use him as our template. You notice that uh, this photo did not capture all of Ian's head. We'll have to guesstimate that but we are going to use our line region and we're going to use a closed curve tool. Now when I click on the closed curve tool it brings up our attribute ta uh, tab so we need to make sure that the fill stitch is turned on. So I'm going to start by just tracing around the portrait or the uh, profile whenever you use the closed curve tool you have to be very careful if you hit a sharp line not to uh, cross over itself otherwise when you double click at the end of the object it will not populate the stitches so when I get to a tight area like this I don't want to make it uh, well I could but I would rather just change it to a closed straight line and then I'm going to change it back to a curve. Now I'm at the point where I need to see how I think his head's going to go. So when we choose the line region tool again, now I'm just going to kind of guesstimate where I think his head should be. Whoops. You can always right click to un undo your last entry point and double click and I might need to reshape his head just a little bit he's a little cone head looking so let's move this down and that looks a little better okay so we have Ian done and now I can turn off this image we don't need it anymore I want to show you something real quick uh, I don't know if you can see this little black, this little line here. You don't see it so much in the stitch view, but in the uh, what that is showing is you see how it sews. It's showing you where the two regions are meeting in the middle. What this can do is when you, it's sewing out, if it's on something like a terry cloth or a thick fleece uh, sweatshirt, it can bunch up the material in the middle and then you get what you have is a big gap of the material showing through. So you want to get rid of those lines whenever possible. You do that by going to your uh, select tools and choosing the entry exit tool. Now uh, if the optimized entry exit point is checked, it's not going to work as I'll show you here. You hear that boink? Uh, it's not going to let me change anything so you have to make sure that this is unchecked when you use this. So now when I click on it, it's going to show me where the first, start, first stitch starts and the last stitch ends. So I'm going to click on that uh, box and I'm going to hold my left mouse key down as I drag it to where I think the top of the design is and I'm going to do the same thing with the other so they both start and stop at the same place that way I know all the stitches have to go in the same direction so look what happens now oh there's a little gap I should have put them right there but anyway you can move them around as much as you want 
uh, earlier I had digitized a silhouette portrait uh, of Ian's sister Maddie. So I'm going to import that pattern and I created it the same way I did with Ian but I saved it in a file and now I'm going to import it. And there's Maddie. I'm going to change her color to pink because uh, and I need her a little bit bigger even though she's his little sister. I want her to be just a little bit bigger. And I want her facing the same direction as her brother so I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to flip her horizontally. I also want her head tilted in the same direction as Ian, so I'm going to grab the little rotating red dot and I'm going to tilt her down a little bit. And so now, and I also see that she has a spot that's going to bunch up the uh, stitches in the middle, so I'm going to use the entry exit tool again and I'm going to click on the entry and I'm going to hold it and drag it to the where I think the top is. That looks about right there. It could be over there. I'm not sure. And I'll click this one too. That gets rid of that little line. And now when I sew they're going to sew both of them and you're not going to have that gap. Okay, um, to remove the overlaps, I'm going to select Maddie first, the first object, and then I'm going to hold my finger on the control key, select in, so that they are now both selected. Go to my edit tab, and I'm going to remove the overlaps. Now you can see when they sew out, there's not going to be uh, the overlap of too many stitches in the middle. All right, we're going to undo that, and I'm going to show you what the merge tab does. I'm going to select Maddie, and then I'm going to select I hold, by holding my finger on the control key so I can have both of them selected. Select in, and then I'm going to merge them. What merging does is it puts it groups any two objects together, but it's going to be the color of the last object that was on your sewing order. But we don't want that, so we'll undo that. Now, uh, now there once again are two full heads. The whole sewing is different though. The whole sewing, if you select Maddie and then you hold your control key and select Ian, and then you go to whole sewing, that whole sewing, it's going to give you an error message saying invalid pair was selected. The only way you're going to be able to uh, use the whole sewing is that when one object fits completely inside the other. So, uh, so if I select Maddie and then I select Ian, now when we select whole sewing, you don't get the error message and you can see in the sewing order and also by your simulator sew out <coughs> that it has removed the hole where that shape was at. And that's more or less how you use the uh, overlap merge and hole sewing features in Brother PE Design.